a ritual. Hey y'all, it's Danielle and welcome to Let's Talk Food, where we talk about food, eat bomb food, and talk about whatever else is on my mind. So today I have a special guest, her name is Samara. She's a singer, dancer, international performer, and a visionary. I like to call her a free spirit. So help me welcome Samara. Samara is here in America <laughs> in my kitchen I'm so grateful that you're here and you found time in between working like the fact that she made time for me like my heart yes and how long have we known each other probably like six years then <laughs> six years yeah definitely six years all right so have all these ingredients take a nice little look what do you think we're making How did you know? But because of the wrap, I'm like, okay, it's either like a taco or a burrito, but it's a little bit too big for tacos, so I think that I was right with my burrito. And yeah, I felt that. Yo, she's the second person in this season to get it right. Yes, we are making burritos. <laughs> so for my raw vegan burrito, we will not be putting heat to any of our beautiful live ingredients this meal truly is an ode to mother nature as we will be really embracing the fruits and vegetables as they are directly from mother earth so we'll be using these beautifully vibrating collard green wraps like you see here look at them they're so alive and inside we'll be stuffing them with a half of a cup of chickpeas in which we will crush in a bowl with a fork and mix in a quarter teaspoon of each of these, paprika, cumin, and crushed red peppers. We will then create an avocado tahini topping by blending two tablespoons of tahini, which is really just roasted sesame seeds that creates a paste, a half of an avocado, one tablespoon of cilantro maybe a little bit more because we love cilantro one tablespoon of olive oil and a squeeze of half of a lemon you can do a full lemon if you want it to be a little bit more tangy but i'm just gonna do half and we'll top it up with some purple cabbage chopped carrots and maybe about one or two chopped radishes and just wrap it all up Yo, I can't believe you're in America right now, bro. Like, you really be traveling. How, what have you learned, like, from traveling the world? Because I feel like when you see new places and you get, like, really submerged in different cultures, like, you become a different person. How do you feel like you've changed? Oh my gosh, wait. Beautiful. It is perfect. <laughs> yes. Learning about other cultures. I would say it wasn't as much culture because I did feel like I was in the Bahamas, so I feel like those are already my people. Those are already things that I've. Where's your family from? They're actually from the Caribbean, though. So yes. They're from Haiti. Yes. But the Shout Bahamas, out to the I felt very at home with them. Like they, of course, have a different culture and they're not as crazy about things. But you are not allowed to take like conch shells and things like that back to right. the ship or right. back to America. So tell, I want you to kind of explain like how you even got this gig because she used to work on wall street can we talk about that <laughs> she quit wall street and decided to 
pursue her dreams. So I really want, like, I want to dig into your head. How did you get the confidence to really just do that? Some people find, you know, comfort in having a nine to five. So yeah. how, are you comfortable now? How do you feel? I feel a, a lot better. Before I felt like I was doing something good and it was an amazing job, mm -hmm. an amazing opportunity. After a while, I started to feel like this is not what I want to be doing. I know that this is great for someone else, but it's not for me. Right. And essentially my whole life, I've just been doing as I was told. My dad wanted me to, you know, obviously go to college. It wasn't something that I was against, but I didn't want to go to VCU and be a dancer. And I auditioned and I got in, but he was like, I don't really want you to be a dance major. And the money isn't really right for that. So mm. I did let go of that. And then I just went to a local school in Manhattan, which still ended up being a great thing for me because mm -hmm. I got into the STEM program. Mm. Yes, good. Shout out to the STEM majors, yo. I see y'all exactly. working. I was pre-med. I had so many different things that I wanted to do. I was pre-med. I was a STEM peer mentor. I was helping other students who were sophomores or freshmen, helping them out with what career they wanted to do and making sure that that career had an alignment to the major that they were choosing in the STEM field. Honestly, you can just Exactly. Honestly, you could put this in a bowl and just mash it up, but I like being extra and I'm gonna put it in my blender. Okay. I remember I posted something about, you know, what fruits or vegetables do you guys not like? And you said radishes, so I made <laughs> sure to look back at the conversation. Which vegetable did she say she didn't like? Let me throw it in there. Radishes. So I, ooh. Look at them though, they're beautiful. They're beautiful, but they were like hot and I, I had a, like a black radish and I was like, mm -mm, No, you wasn't feeling it? So you're going to like it this way. You're going to feel, I already know how you're going to feel. You're going to feel very connected to the earth with this meal. Because all of this is raw, as you can tell. Yeah. Because I know that you like, she doesn't eat meat either. And I know she likes raw food yeah. because it's quicker, it's easier. So everything here is raw. Doing some raw radishes today. You're really getting into it I mean, really taste them. <laughs> yes yes and that's exactly what i wanted mm, they're so pretty though come on they, do look they cool. remind me of beets they're just they like, do. so I like beets. dirty and just part of the, the earth root. yes root. yes root plant taste it how do you feel these <gasps> it's getting hot it gets hot at the end. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. 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 I'm still I, I it. feel what you're saying. Yes. It makes me feel like grounded because yes. it tastes like the ground. Is yes. Good. This is but like it's hot at the chakra. end. I can't I can't eat this straight like this. No. That's fine. We'll put it in the burrito and we'll hide it in there. And then so you're just going to but you're gonna feel really grounded. Maybe that's a good thing. Yes, we'll see. I like convincing people to the point where they're like, oh snap, this is actually, you're right. You know that? Yes. Look at this collard green wrap, yo. It has just as much life as my hand. Like these look like fingers to me. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I feel like being that I work with food, I look at the world a certain way. Yeah. So as a dancer, and you know, I don't really like calling you that because you're way more than just a dancer. How do you, as a being, as a spirit, no, having I'm a magician? Yes. Ooh. Yes, I like that. <laughs> yes. How do you feel like you see the world differently than anybody else who may not do what you do? I I think the difference would be that I view the world in movement and rhythm like feeling things and that's even how I speak and how I describe things I'll, I'll put a little movement to yes. it because I think that's also how I communicate with rhythm and with movement I think as a performer or a dancer you see the world with a little bit more love depending on 
how you view your movement. Mm. So I view my movement as something that gives to people, but I'm like, something about what I'm doing is going to pull you in and it's going to keep your attention for however long that I have the stage. Yes. And it's almost like I'm charming people to make them fall in love with me. But it's Do you genuine. consider it hypnotizing? Yes, I do. I agree. Hypnotizing for those that are unexpected and for someone who's just you know, they appreciate the art, it's heart opening for them. Like they, they'll see that my heart is opening to them and they're receiving me through their heart. Mm. That's what I feel like. That's dope, yo. And do you feel like, you know, since you've been, you know, really diving into this life as a dancer and as a performer, do you feel like you know yourself and you see yourself differently than maybe when you were working on Wall Street? Do you feel like you're a different person now? I don't feel like I'm a different person or that I changed. I feel like I more so woke up, if that makes sense. I love that. Like, I was a sleeper. I was a walking, sleeping, almost like a zombie. And I wasn't living in my purpose or realizing, like, you have so much to give. Mm -hmm. And that if you keep giving it, someone might come out of depression someone might you know stop hurting themselves like what you have to give is bigger than yourself and that it's not about me that it's about what I'm being used to do that is what's most important about art freedom that is the, the that is everything that is what it is that is art yeah. freedom it's love it's all of that in one it's like the extension of your heart. Yes. Because when I did it, I was just like, you know what? I'm not happy at my job, and everyone can tell. My bosses are like, you know, there's times when you're really great, and then there's other times when we don't see you flourishing as much as we know you can. Mm. And in a sense, it made us underestimate you, but we see, like, you're amazing, and we want that to be what you give us consistently. But because I'm also an Aries, and... When I don't feel passionate about something, it's harder for me to do it. And I feel I'm like there's That's so times... crazy. <laughs> I, this is the one episode I chose to wear my Virgo bracelet. And the first person to really bring up astrology like this, yeah. at least. So that's alignment. And the point where I was at my job, they were like, we want, we need more from you, but... Because I didn't feel like I was really where I wanted to be and I wasn't very happy, I felt like I wasn't willing to give them what they needed. And I remember coming off the train one day and I was just depressed. And my said was like, my friend was like, you look horrible. Oh and I was gosh. like, I know like I'm miserable at my job. And I'm even upset at myself for saying that because it's a great, it's an amazing place to have worked. It's an amazing organization and, and I'm sure you learned so much learned and it so led much. you to where you are today yes. if, if it wasn't for that experience you wouldn't be this free no that's just how it works and and it brought me to a place where not only I met people that were seeing in me and encouraging that good side of me as if there should be nothing else that I'm giving only the best mm -hmm. of that is what I should have been given I've also met a friend there that she always tells me her name is Eunice. She says, stay ready Shout so you to never got to get ready. Yes. And that's really yes. like, needs, that's, that's my, my life, life motto. Mantra, like, yes. Stay ready so you never have to get ready. Like, right. Always be And yourself. it makes sense. Why yeah. not to be ready at all times? Yeah. This is life. You got to be prepared. You don't know if you're going to see tomorrow. Yeah. You have to be ready for today. You have to be living in your moment. Really be cherish. your best self. Like All the time. If this is your best self with your hair done as opposed to, oh, I didn't really feel like it, so I just left it in the twist. Right. I didn't really feel like putting on makeup. I just put on a little lip. Like Yes. That's not you giving your best. Right. And even me dressing up, or not just because I know I'm being filmed, but like, how can I give my best and put my best foot forward because right. there's been times where I haven't. It's still been great. But when, when you put your best for it, then I see people like, okay. Potential. Literally you like, start shining differently. Yeah, you start shining. It's differently. Just like, that's just me and I'm embracing me. Yes. As opposed to hiding and tucking myself away. Right. Because maybe I'm afraid that someone else won't be able to shine. Or 
maybe I'm afraid of the attention or I don't want the attention Mm -hmm. or I don't want maybe the criticism. Mm. So just like being open, being vulnerable, and you never know where it's going to lead you. Yes. All right. So we have our collared wrap here presented beautifully. We have our chickpeas that Samara did a beautiful job mashing up with our seasonings. Yes, thank you, honey. We have our guacamole kind of tahini topping that we did, not really addressing, more of just like a thick topping just to lay right on top. We have our spicy radishes that Samara said she wasn't really feeling, but I put in there anyway (laughs) because I'm that person. We have some purple cabbage carrots and we're just gonna wrap this up so beautifully and just mm. yes so i'm just topping it with some black sesame seeds uh sesame seeds are so great for you it's a super food so i just like splashing that little super food on there it's double double yes I feel like it's just missing one thing. Mm-hmm. <sighs> Smell it. This is a passion fruit. Mm. I don't think I've ever had passion fruit before. First time for everything. Not to be today. Mm-hmm. Ooh, look at the way it's and bleeding. And you might make me like passion. Ooh. Passion fruit. Yes. Um, Yes. Do you so see this the aesthetic. Yes. This is the finished product and this is how we should be eating. Mm-hmm. Eating all of our colors, okay? Mm-hmm. Like all of this raw food from the earth and this is what we're about to eat. So this entire plate I feel like is speaking to me and what it's telling me is that we need to go outside and eat this and really be submerged in nature barefoot. Okay? and take a nice bite and really appreciate this for what this is. This is an ode to Mother Nature right now. We're about to go outside and eat this. Okay. <laughs> mm! Yes. What do you like? Speak louder. I like the tahini taste with the chickpeas. I like everything together and I don't really taste the radish. So I don't feel like I'm my mouth is burning. Right. And I like if how it's balanced with the radishes. I like how full it is with the chickpeas. And the avocado with the tahini sauce, it gives it a nice little like it's not it's a tangy taste. Like tangy. Mm-hmm. A little bit of a a spice flavor to it but not it's not hot it's not overpowered yeah it's like a spice taste as a, as, a, as opposed to like a spiciness that is burning hot <laughs> yes all right we gotta try this passion fruit yo this feels great cheers mmm What? Like it's like so flavorful. I was not expecting this. I could just bite it. What were you expecting? I don't know. Yo, I really want to show y'all. Like, it looks so weird, but look, also really beautiful. They look like um baby eggs, <laughs> like. When the tadpoles, 
Mm. Before they're born, they look like that. Mm. They do. That's, that just kind of yeah. made it a little weird. <laughs> yeah. But it's still good. But it's still good, yeah. And we gotta have some mango. It's very flavorful. And yes. Crunchy because the seeds. Yes, oh these God. seeds are different. Here, have some mango. It's like really passion food. Like it's so raw, but it's so well. It's just so intense. That's what passion is. Mm -hmm. like, maybe that's why. I that's probably why it's named that. Passion. It really is a passionate it's flavor. A passion. Wow, it was beautiful today. This is a perfect mango. It is nice, <laughs> sweet. Mm -hmm. Yes. So at the end of every episode, we take a Polaroid picture, hold the moment. So I'm gonna go grab my camera. I think we should take it out here. Mm -hmm. This is a selfie now. Say vegan cheese. Vegan cheese. Do you feel like you're in a transitional period of your life? Yes, I am. I actually did my Reiki and mm, my friend cool. Faith, and she told me that I got the death card. And I was like, wait, what? She's like, no, this means that it's the end to the old, and it's a V, not a rebirth, but it's a birth of something new. And that you're at the cusp of a lot of new things that are about to happen for you. Yeah, yes. So the veganism happened I came home I'm dancing more I'm performing more I'm living more of the professional dancer life auditioning because before I went away to work for carnival I only went on two auditions my first audition I just was like oh I'm just gonna go in there and do whatever they want me to do and I just looked around and they were just like just dance and have fun do this combination and freestyle so I did that I had so much fun but I did let someone else's nervous energy get to me and we both started to dance. It was just us two at a time. We both started dancing, we both messed up because we both had like the best energy in the room. They liked us already and they are like, okay, you have to do it again. We did it again and I still didn't get it after that second time. I don't know what it was, but I wasn't even thinking about nerves. I was just enjoying myself. But the second she said the word, the words, I'm nervous, my stomach started to hurt and I was trying to convince her not to be nervous but it already transmitted to me that was like your human body kicking in because yeah. your spirit was shining the whole time yeah. but then when she brought you back to earth mm -hmm. you started to feel those earthly feelings Exactly. I try to ignore them as much as, as possible much as because possible. it kind of takes away the fun sometimes like I'm on camera right now yes but it doesn't feel that way I'm eating with a friend I'm eating with another spirit eating great food I just yeah. got to cook I mean put together this beautiful you know piece yeah. of art so I'm chilling I'm in my zone but like sometimes you get into that moment where it's like oh snap I'm on camera yeah <laughs> when it's really not even that serious it's like not. you're just living that's beautiful my second audition, I was like, I'm not talking to anybody. Mm -hmm. I said hi because I recognized some people from the last audition. But I just Gotta go. was confident. And <laughs> I looked up what they wanted from dancers. And they wanted someone who was confident as if they were going in for a rehearsal and not for an audition. So I just told myself, this is already yours. Mm -hmm. All you have to do is dance and sing and show them. And go grab it. And go grab it. And I didn't even really know how to sing, but I sang that day. Mm. I did whatever they told me to do, and I just stopped thinking about it. 
and one of the combinations as soon as they told me that we were doing latin for whatever reason i was like i have this job like this is something that i feel strongly about name latin it dancing. claim it and it's yours we also did a janet jackson rhythm nation combination it was so fast and i was in the first group so i couldn't even think about wait do i know the steps who do i have to watch i just did it and i don't know what i did but my body just followed suit to the fact that i was telling myself this is already mine we got another cut i didn't get cut though then we had to sing i don't know what i was singing but i was smiling looking at <laughs> looking at them while i was doing it they told me to sing some song i was just like okay na -na 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 -na. I don't know what I was doing, but it worked. I got the job that day. Then I was telling my family goodbye, and I love them, and that I'm going to work for Carnival for eight months working on a cruise ship, traveling the Bahamas, going to DR, living my life, and all these things just happened. I just did them. I didn't do it to inspire anyone. Right. But before I left, my friend told me that what I was doing wasn't inspiration, and I didn't even know how much of an impact it would have on anybody else because I was like I just feel like I'm doing something that I was meant to do right and I think that's beautiful because when you really walk in your path and you do what you feel is right for you in your heart without trying you end up changing the lives of others around you you end up changing the lives of people that you don't even know are watching you know how many people have came to me like Yo, you don't understand what you've done for me. I'm like, what did I'm ch I'm eating? I I'm I didn't eating, think I'm that. Yes, I'm making art with my food. I'm really spreading love. I didn't know that it was going to impact you the way it did. But when yeah. you know that, when you are now, when you become a, conscious of it, you become aware of it. You cannot turn back after that. You have to keep moving forward. You can't go backwards and say, oh, you know, I'm not good enough. Clearly, you're good yeah. enough. Clearly, because people are being changed, people's minds are, this is a revolution that's going on right now. There's a revolution going on, it's called the revolution of the mind, and the only way for, uh, the only way for you to be a part of this is for you to wake up and follow your heart. That's what it is. Beautiful. Action. These radishes are kind of spicy. Don't tell me you got me a gift, bro. Don't tell me you got me a <laughs> And they don't have the nerve to dance it to me. What did you get me, bro? Oh my gosh. First of all, don't be afraid to take a few whisks. Not risks. You heard right. Whisks. Don't tell whisk be afraid to take a few whisks are you serious yeah, because i mean it's not big enough to fit all of your books but i know you said you had books so you could put some books in there maybe people love me stones in there whatever you need a to box for my organize. crystals this could be my my lunch box for my seasonings when i'm on the go yeah this is incredible. Thank you it so be much. You. It could be on the go. Oh my gosh. Thank you. This is love. As I eat my radish, this is, this is love, y'all. This is love, maybe not the radish. This is, this is love. This is love. 